Will you take my check for one billion dollars? Well, I damn sure hope so. I, I, I damn sure hope that uh, if somebody offers you a check for one billion dollars and that check is good, it will cash. You can make sure it cashes. I would damn sure hope that you would say yes, uh, especially if you've got a volatile Internet based company uh, where everything quickly changes and what's hot one year can be cold the next year. Look, I don't uh, I don't like to do time uh, videos with a time date on them, but this is a rare exception here. I'm recording this on July 26, 2018. And I just saw on the news that Mark Zuckerberg, uh, the, the founder of Facebook, uh, just lost $14 billion in one day. $14 billion of his net worth is lost in one day. And I just thought to myself, it serves you right, dude. It serves you right. And Mark, I doubt if you'll ever listen to this thing, but if you do, it serves you right. Losing $14 billion of your net worth in, in one day. Because look, uh, not too long ago, Mark Zuckerberg reportedly uh, turned down $1 billion for Facebook. He was offered $1 billion and he turned it down. And I don't have the details on that. I don't remember. But I remember at the time. I remember thinking, you arrogant son of a bitch. Uh, because I know how flaky and fickle people on the Internet are. And I know Facebook is hot. Everybody's all excited about Facebook. Well, not so much anymore. Because a lot of the young people, my grandkids don't do Facebook. I can tell you that. They're, they, Facebook is for old people, you know. Um, my, my grandkids... Uh, um, um, and and I, know, I know how things are on the Internet. You know, I just know that... We're in a world where volatility, if that's uh, uh, for lack of a better word, is the norm. Where, you know, you've got something really hot, you're making a ton of money, somebody offers you a bunch of money for it, you better take it. Uh, because nobody knows the future, and the future is, uh, especially when it comes to something as flaky and flighty as the Internet, and, uh, and all of those wonderful... Uh, fickle people on the internet um, who uh, what's hot one time or one year one quarter may definitely not be hot so look I just thought at the time when I heard that uh, Zuckerberg turned down a, mi a billion dollars you know a company that he started for nothing started it out of his college dorm supposedly ripped it off from uh, from his, his his college friends but you know what I don't I don't I don't get that that's 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 another part of the story that I, I I doesn't concern me at all, where he got the idea. If it starts with nothing, somebody offers him a billion dollars, he turns it down, and and I just the arrogance here, the arrogance of look, somebody offers you a lot of money for what you've got, you're making a lot of money, take it, take it, and then go find something else hot and cash out when when it peaks out. Um, but uh, we're living in a very volatile world here, and um, so I just uh, I, I I'm not going to be able to get this Facebook story out of my head for a long time here. Now, by the time you're watching this video, maybe he's got all of his net worth back. Maybe he does. But uh, but I think that in this day and age that we live in, again, I just know how a lot of younger people are perceiving Facebook. A lot of younger people in my life. Now that's no. Indication of a larger whole, but uh, but I do know that people people on the internet are flaky, they're flighty. I heard one time uh, uh, of some uh, uh, a marketing guy that I have some respect for say said that uh, people on the internet have the attention span of a fly. That was his whole thing. They have the attention span of a fly, and I think that's a pretty good analogy. Um, Shame on you, Mark. Shame on you. You should have taken that billion dollars, and um, I, I, um, I don't, I don't wish ill will on anybody necessarily, but I, I do think that um, you're penalized for your stupid decisions that you make in business. I've made plenty of stupid mistakes in business, and I've lost money every time. And uh, to lose fourteen billion dollars in one day, think about that. I mean, what? How must that feel? I know I've lost millions and it feels bad. It feels really, really, really bad. But to lose billions of dollars? Huh. I don't know. Think about it, though. 
Yesterday, Mark Zuckerberg had $14 billion in his net worth that he doesn't have today. In one day, um, July 26, 2018, look it up, uh, look it up. It's, uh, it's in the news right now, and uh, it's a real bloodbath at Facebook. And, you know, never get too arrogant, I guess. That's the real takeaway here, because... Um, uh, what is the, uh, the, there's a biblical scripture that says pride goeth before the fall or something like that. I don't know, but arrogance, egotism, pride. Look, we're living in a very, very, very volatile world. So if you're making a ton of money, you better be putting some of it aside. I just had a good friend of mine, somebody that I have a lot of respect for. Um, he just, uh, the government came and shut his business down by no fault of his, I believe. I don't think that uh, this guy deserves any of the, what's happened to him. And uh, let's hope, let's hope, uh, and I know he was riding high for a number of years. Let's hope he puts some of that money away. Uh, protect yourself at all times. That's, uh, used to watch a lot of fighting, a lot of boxing um, back in the day. And uh, was a big, big boxing fan. And uh, if you've never watched boxing, the very first thing that the referee says, he says, um, protect yourself at all times and come out fighting. But he said it just like that. Protect yourself at all times and then come out fighting. And um, anyway, I just thought, hey, if somebody offers you a billion dollars, can I offer you a check for a billion dollars? If I, if I do, you better take it. <laughs> I mean, anyway, anyway, thanks. I hope something I've said here has made some, some impact at some level. I just thought it was crazy and I just wanted to do this video to express some of the craziness. So thanks for listening. Bye for now.